I decided to write a book because uh, since 1986, when The Love Boat went off the air, I started working for Princess Cruises. And some, some of my duties are speaking to people on the ships. And my manager said, why don't you write a book? As a result, it's given me another thrust with my life at this age to go out and meet people, get the word out there, and I always get a chance to uh, witness a little about my Lord and Savior. I'll tell you how I got the role of Captain Steubing on the love boat. We had just finished the Mary Tyler Moore show, a wonderful seven years of wonderful, wonderful work. And uh, I decided, well, that's enough of television for a while. And Patty and I had a nightclub act. So we said, let's put the act together. But I got a call from my agent. There were a couple of different things they wanted me to do, pilots. And I really wasn't interested. And then Aaron Spelling called. And he said, um, I want you to do this pilot of The Love Boat. I said, let me read the script. So I read the script. Patty read the script. And we thought if it was on at the right time, if it was cast by the right people, people would like it because we liked it. The critics hated it, but the public loved it. Consequently, we wound up in 90 countries all over the world. We went to many of those countries and shot China, Russia, you just name it. We were all over the place. My spiritual life did not happen until I was 50-something years old, 54 years old. Uh, so all the rest of the book is all about my dreams, my overcoming, my... Uh, my success, my dealing of life as an actor with a bald head when I was young, buying a secondhand hairpiece. I think that some of the stories are just so funny. When Betty Davis came to our house for dinner, and it was a total disaster, I think it's one of the funniest stories ever. I hope people enjoy it as much as we do, because we experienced it. And so I think there's a lot of, a lot of wonderful humor in there, a lot of maybe heart-tugging parts of my life that are in there. And basically, I hope they have a good time. And then I hope they do think about their lives after, about if they're not fulfilled, how they can be fulfilled. I would like people to get from my book three things. Don't give up. Forgiveness. And most importantly, that Jesus is Lord.